very good afternoon to you both. I hope you're well. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Just happy, obviously, that we um, we get another opportunity to uh, to go out on the field and, and wear the Lions jersey and, like you say, try to um, try to put, try to impress. And uh, yeah, uh, it's our last chance to do it before the test game, so it'll be exciting, exciting for us all. I know you'll probably give me a very well rehearsed uh, answer here, but there's a huge amount of speculation about yourself and Tom Curry and who might get that seven shirt. How are you enjoying? Uh, that rivalry between the two of you? Um, yeah, I think there's there's rivalries all over the park and uh, that's why the Lions are so good. You know, you've got you've got 37 or however many players here are all, all um, fighting for the, the starting 15 spots. So it's um, it brings out the best, I think, in all players to have to have a really tough competition. And he obviously played really well last night. So now it's sort of like on to the next game to try and, to try and show what you can do and put your foot forward. Yeah, it's great to have Hoggy back. Um, obviously, we saw him for the first time. I think it was yesterday in the hotel, or, or the day before yesterday. And uh, he was very excited to see everyone. And Hoggy's quite a hyper guy anyway, so he would have been bouncing off the walls. So it was great to have him back in the camp. And I think he was uh, pretty excited to see everyone. And it'll be good to have him back, uh, captain for tomorrow, and um, yeah, leading the boys out. Brilliant. If I could just ask uh, one to Jack, uh, similar question to you, Jack. What was it like, perhaps? Uh, Yeah, I'm just looking forward to um, playing again, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think anyone's getting too ahead of themselves and we're worrying too much about next week yet. Um, as Mish said, like another opportunity to impress on Saturday. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to have played, gotten a few starts and played a few times already. So um, I feel fresh. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, it's always exciting with the new combinations and playing with new lads. And obviously Marcus is in, which is great for him. And you see Alan Wynn come back onto the bench. So... Um, it's going to be a big day and, and uh, lads are going to be excited for it. What's it been like getting to know Marcus? It's been a bit of a whirlwind time for him. How's he settled in? Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's like a talk to water, to be fair to him. Like he's taken to it really well. Um, obviously, we haven't trained a whole lot in the last few days with the game yesterday, but we, we did a bit of a conditioning session and, and ran a bit of shape um, in the morning there before the game. And uh, obviously, he's, he's a top quality player and he, he wouldn't be here if he wasn't. So he, he slotted in quickly and was able to to run all the moves and, and being that commanding presence that, that we need at 10. So um, look, for a 21-year-old, 22-year-old, whoever old he is, it's, it's pretty impressive that he can kind of just come in, slot in so easily and uh, uh, show so much confidence and belief he has in himself. Wish you all the best on Saturday. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, not too bad, Murray. Um, yeah, happy enough. Like, uh, you know, it's it's been kind of some of those games are a bit stop start and they probably don't go through as many phases as you would like to get into your proper shape and to kind of build a bit of momentum and, and to show what you're really about. A lot of us kind of off the cuff, especially playing the other the Sharks the other day when they got into 14 men, it becomes a bit more open and a bit more of a free for all. So it becomes that little bit more difficult to come structured. So um, I'm happy enough with how we've gone. Um, you know, getting that first uh, start in, uh, against Japan and over in Scotland was great. And, uh, you know, even though I, I didn't last the full 80, I was happy with how it gone and um, I trained hard. So, look, it's, it's just about continually putting your hand up uh, every chance you get. And um, at the moment, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not too... Um, there's always more to do, but I'm happy enough with how it's gone. Yeah, it's actually been all right. Like, you know, everyone makes an effort to, to kind of hang out, obviously, socially distant and, and everything else and COVID protocols. So, um, you know, even this morning, we had a bit of a coffee morning and there was Jamie George and uh, Elliot um, slinging a few coffees around and uh, Josh Navidi uh, got a little DJ deck with uh, Tyg and Tom and they were uh, blasting out a few tunes. So um, we're definitely making the most of a, a strange situation, but it's been an incredibly enjoyable few weeks and I think it's helped everyone kind of bed in, get to know each other a little bit, the fact that we're kind of stuck here together and it's we only have ourselves to entertain each other. So, um, I don't know, it's, it's been great. And I think that's kind of shown on the pitch that lads are working so hard for each other and that kind of team ethos and atmosphere that we've been able to build so quickly. Um, so it's been it's been good uh, on the pitch and off the pitch. Cheers. Hi, Jack. Will Starry here. Um, you know, 
Yeah, look, it would have been great. You always want to be, you want to play every game, but um, the nature of the beast and the way it is over here, um, you just can't be involved in, in all of them, unless you're Bundy, who obviously has been rolled out uh, uh, every day, but it's not a bother to him. Um, yeah, it would, have, it would have been great to play. The lads put in a massive shift, and I think they would have been really happy with the, the last 40 minutes of it. Um, a lot of learnings to take from it and, and things to be better at for next week, but... Um, please God, I'll get an opportunity to, to go against South Africa at some stage over the next coming weeks. And how do you prepare for that sort of challenge when you haven't experienced it? Is it something you can prepare for? Yeah, well, I suppose every game that we're playing is in preparation for uh, the test match. Um, the physicality that the, the, the South African teams have brought so far is, um, it's, is it's mirrored in the national side. And, you know, a, a lot of them uh, resort to type, especially... Um, those first few weeks, the, the, the scrum and mall and, and, and the way they go about playing the game. So obviously it's going to be a step up if, if I do get the opportunity to go in the next few weeks. But um, every, every day and every week has been a building block towards that. Yeah, I don't know. To be honest, you never really know what the, what the coaches are thinking. And, and to be honest, it's not something I'm going to spend too much time worrying about. Um, all I can do is, is do my best every, ch every chance I get. And as, as I said to Murray there a few minutes ago, um, I'm happy enough with, with how it's gone so far. You can always be better, but, um, you know, I hopefully I get a good 80 minutes or whatever this and now comes Saturday and um, I'll do as much as I can. And if I'm selected, great. And then if I'm not, look, it, it is what it is. I think I'll, once I look back and I'm happy with my own performance, um, there's not a whole lot more you can ask. Thanks, sir. Cheers, what? I'm actually not on the fines. I'm on. I'm in the environment committee. Very important um, stuff. But uh, the fines committee. Uh, yeah, it was. It was a fine to um, to shave up the side of his head with a zero grade fade. But then I think. Uh, I think that was all Zam himself who wanted the lightning bolt on it. I think that was optional. Who did it? Was it, was it a trim by a member of his squad? Or? Uh, it was from Prav. So he, he learned how to cut hair over lockdown. So he's actually pretty decent. A few of the boys have um, been using them for, for haircuts. And, and what, can you just talk about your role with the environment committee then? Like a... I'm, the COVID, I'm the COVID police. And um, just got a which which obviously wasn't wasn't too good over the last couple of weeks, but um, and then we've got to um, we've got to you know help clean up the buses and uh, and stuff like that. And, and just a quick word on Ali Price, he's been live in this tour. Um, obviously, big games coming up. Just a word on him and his performances. Yeah, Ali's Ali's a great player. I've been playing with him for pretty much my whole Scotland career, um, and played against him uh, a lot for Edinburgh and. Uh, he sort of brought the form from the Six Nations to the, to the Lions camps. looked uh, looked really good. And when he got when he got called upon at late notice uh, last week, when he wasn't meant to be playing, he, I thought he did really well. Especially when you haven't been able to prepare and go through the plays as much as you would uh, you would have liked. I thought he stepped up and uh, had a really good game. Thank you, Jerry. Hey, Jack, how are you well? Jerry, how are you getting on? Good, thanks. Good. Um, um, yeah, I think, you know, looking back over it, um, even a little bit this morning, um, obviously they're a quality side, so you can't give them that kind of leg up that we gave them the first 20 minutes. Um, they went pretty hard at the breakdown, um, slowed down our, our ball a bit, so I think it kind of, we found it difficult to get into our flow and into our rhythm um, early on, but again, I think... The lads were really happy with how we went in the, in, in the second 40. Um, I think, you know, obviously they're, they're big threats at the scrum and the mall. I think we dealt with that particularly well. Obviously, a few decisions didn't go our way, and hopefully on another day they, they probably will. Um, so, like, there's, there's, there's lots of positives to take and, and lots of work on as well. hard to put your finger on really it's it's just the experience of it all to, to, to become a lion to to get the opportunity to wear the red jersey to kind of 
sharing these experiences with lads that you've only played against or, or haven't even met before and then you you know you find yourself being able to sit down have a few beers have a coffee together and get to know each other and, and, and build those relationships and it's um it's, it's been really fantastic from day one you know and i think um we, we've, we've all worked incredibly hard the last four and a half five weeks wherever long we've been here at this stage um it, so it's um it's been great um i think just those experiences on the field uh, running out uh, in murrayfield with your family there and um, for the first time in a long time um, was something really special and something I, I, I'll uh, hold on to for the rest of my days. Cheers, Jack. Thanks very much. Cheers, Jerry. Um, I don't think so. I think boys are just getting a bit more excited. You know, we get we get into the sort of the business end of the tour now, and that's that's ultimately why all the players and uh, everyone's here uh, to try and try and get selected for those test matches. So I think it's just it's just exciting. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we've got a training session tomorrow, and you know everything's sort of getting up to a bit now as we as we go towards those test matches. And I think the boys who didn't play last night, like uh, me and Jack, uh, watching watching the game from the stand, um, you know, you just want to be on the pitch. And it was it was exciting to watch a watch a game like that, and it was definitely a step up. And uh, yeah, it's all it's all just building towards uh, the test matches nicely now. Do, do you think it was any way an advantage for some of the guys that played last night because it was such a step up in different level in, with intensity to any of the games that um, you've played previously on this tour? Um, I mean, it's good for those guys to get um, get a good physical battle, but, you know, we're all we're all uh, professionals. We've all had those sort of battles at some point in our career and, you know, that's our job to step up to step up to the challenge just like the boys did last night when, when you need to. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys.